After these three things to grow a multi-million pound construction or trade-based business. Now, if you don't know who I am, my name is Dean Barton. I've got experience of running a company up to 10 million pounds a year in revenue, and I'm currently actively buying companies at around the 1 million mark and scaling them to around the 5 million pound mark to then sell. So this stuff is all practical, it's real. I've got experience in doing it to talk about it and share with you guys today. So there are three main things you need to look at to build a multi-million pound construction business. Now, 82% of construction businesses stay below 500 grand a year, and it's because they don't have these three things that I'm gonna share with you today. Now, if you've got ambitions, you've got dreams of growing a really successful multi-million pound company, this is what you need to really put your focus into. So, number one is your mindset. Now, I know instantly some of you will just hear that and turn off straight away because you think it's just like fluff, but it's not. Everything starts in your head. If you've got a clear head and your mind is fixed on the prize of where you want to be and you're not thinking about limiting beliefs, which is a massive thing, where you're limiting yourself and thinking that things are impossible because you've never done it before and you haven't got the perspective to understand properly, just saying it how it is, and maybe you don't have the right people around you, maybe you don't come from a family of successful business owners or a family of entrepreneurs or friends that have got businesses as well maybe that's the wrong thing that you've got around you you haven't got the inputs to have a mindset because if you had the right successful people around you your mindset would be completely different and look i know full well more than most this industry is very difficult it's very hard to get labor it's a stressful industry i doubt you get pulled from pillar to post it's very difficult Unless you've worked in it, you will not understand it. And really that's part of the reason why I make these videos because I've got the perspective to really understand. And if you haven't got your mind switched on, because when things get hard and you feel like giving up, or you don't back yourself, you don't believe in yourself, you don't have the courage to go after things, that is going to limit you. And it all starts there. Without this, nothing else matters. That is the most important thing. You need a rock solid mindset. You need to be a very solid individual very balanced, you need to be able to problem solve off the cuff, you've got to be able to have things out of your control and you, you're trying to control them and you've got to let go and that is the hardest thing with this industry to get to a bigger business is letting go and not thinking that you're the only person that can do it, no one does it as good as you, all of this stuff, I know it's common because I speak to a lot of you about this stuff, you've got to let go and actually that is probably the most important thing, letting go. Let go, because believe it or not, there is someone better than you at every part of the business and every different trade. There's always someone better, there's always someone cheaper as well. So let go of that limiting belief because that's probably the biggest one holding you guys back. Once you've got mindset tackled, and by the way, if you want to get a good mindset, do some hard stuff. Go and set yourself up a really hard challenge and go and do it. It's the only way you can get a good mindset. You can learn from people and learn tricks and stuff and, and tips for getting a mindset, but the only good way to get a good mindset is go and do something bloody hard and don't give up. And that is how you develop a mindset. Then, number two, it's skills. You need to be skilled at being a person that can run and build a business that's multi-millions. You do not currently probably have the skills to run a multi-million pound a year business because if you did, you'd already have it. You have to have the skill sets to be able to do it. Pair a good mind, layered with the skill sets needed, then it's a lot easier. And the skill sets you need to grow a business, sales, nothing happens without sales. You've got to sell your customers on choosing you to get the revenue in the door. You've got to sell people on working for you, whether that's subcontract labor, direct labor, or office staff, you've got to sell people. So you're always selling as a business owner. Sales is the number one skill. Linked with that is marketing. You've got to generate inquiries. You've got to generate opportunities. You've got to put your face out there, put your brand out there to generate business to it and be able to get sales. Most valuable skill set that there is. You need commercial intellect in this industry, which might sound like a big word to some of you, but you need to know your numbers. You need to be financially astute. You need to be on top of everything to do with this, this business because you can get caught out very quickly. If you're not on it with your numbers, I've actually found it's quite easy to get revenue. Anyone can get revenue pretty much as long as you're a decent, honest person that turns up and then people like you. 
Getting revenue is actually the easiest part, it's keeping and making money, which is that, it's, it's a skill in itself, it's making money. You've got to make money. You're in business to make money. It's never ever forget that. And it's a skill to be able to price work with the right margins on, choosing the right work, choosing the right customers, and actually operating and delivering the work in the right way so that money's still there at the end. Because it's all well and good pricing a job and going, oh, there's, there's just much profit in this job. But you get to the end and it's not there. That is a massive problem in this business. But that is a skill you need to develop. And then leadership. You've got to lead the team. You've got to lead the lads, the workers. Every single person needs leading. Strong leadership is needed in this business. If you don't make decisions, you procrastinate, you overthink, you don't do what you say you're going to do, you're, you're a mess, you do things on paperwork, you don't, you're just not on the ball, you are going, you are setting yourself up for absolute failure. If that is your problem, that is what you need to solve because it is a skill. Leading is a skill and every skill can be learned and improved if you put the effort and the work into it. And then lastly, skills. You're actually going to need the skill of having a set of balls. Now, as crude as that might sound, you've got to have a lot of confidence. You've got to have a lot of backing yourself, which is a skill. Linked to mindset, you've got to really back yourself because there's going to be a lot of uncertainty. There's going to be a lot of uncertain times. You're going to take on bigger projects that you've not done before and you're going to doubt yourself whether you can do it. You're going to tackle things that are going to come up that you're not experienced in like HR, legal matters, contractual disputes, all sorts of stuff. And you've got to have the balls to really go for it and push on because you can't be doing small stuff to be doing multi-million pound business. You, you, you've got to at some point take the leap and you've taken the leap to start the business. You need to strengthen on that skill and that muscle of putting your balls out on the line sometimes. As long as you can deliver, obviously, there's a big difference between confidence and stupidity. But if you've got the balls, you know you can deliver and you back yourself and you know you've got the right team in the business, all links back to mindset, but that is a skill that you need to develop. Then the last thing that people don't really talk about is your habits. It's what you're doing day to day. It's what you're doing weekly. It's what you're keeping your eye on the ball of because you can have the best mindset and you can be really skilled. And you probably know people like this yourself. They're very skilled, but they don't do it. They don't use those skills. You've got to have the habits and build the habits around where you want to go as a business, which is linked to your mindset. And actually, habits is probably the biggest problem that I come across and see is that people don't have good habits. They have bad habits. They're very good at going, I want this, I want this big goal. I want to be doing multi-millions a year. And their mind is, is pretty good. They get all the stuff, they chip away. This industry is full of grafters and people that just get their head down and work. They've got the skills and they're developing the skills, but it's the habits and doing it over and over again and being repetitive. It's avoiding things like boredom, impulses, frustration, ego, fear, whatever, but having the habits of going, we need to keep doing this. We need to keep doing the same thing over and over again. We need to do, keep doing marketing. We need to keep doing sales. We need to keep being on the numbers, checking jobs, checking the progress. It's the same stuff over and over again. Leading the team, saying the same stuff over and over again, training the team, developing the team. You've got to build in the habits of doing the, the right stuff, which really, to me, is actually forming a list of non awful writing, non negotiables. Every business owner, and in fact, every leader, and it's something you want to build into your team as well, that are like managers or or a bit more senior in the office. You've got to have non-negotiables. Are oh, the non-negotiable things that you need to do daily, weekly, depending on what it is, to move the business forward, to actually help you grow. There's going to be certain non-negotiables and there shouldn't be a lot of these. There might be maximum four or five key things that you've got to do every day or week to grow the business and make this happen and use those skills and, and keep pushing the system forward. And that might be for you that you need to market daily or you need to market weekly. It might be that you need to quote so many jobs a day or a week. It might be that you need to train staff every month, whatever it is, whatever stage that you're at in the business, 
you've got to have non-negotiables that need to happen to make this work because the goal is the easy bit. The dream is free, but the work is not. And the habits that you have is going to make the work. And it's a bit like going to the gym and getting fit. It's the habits that get you there. Most people know what to do. You need to go to the gym and eat less. But it's the habit of doing it over and over again, eating a meal over and over again, not binge eating, not drinking, and taking the easy route and having the habits, which is linked with the mindset really, because if your mind's in the right place, you will do the habits. And they're the three main things. That's what it ever comes down to. This is all business actually is. It's mindset, skill set, and habits. And if you've got the mindset, you've got the skills, and you do it for long enough, you will get to where you want to be. But most people don't do it for long enough, get disheartened because they don't see the result quick enough. And that is actually the main issue. But you've got to knuckle down. And if you know you're doing the right things, keep doing it until it works. And that is the most important thing as a business owner. Hope that's been helpful, guys. I do these videos because, frankly, it's the help that I needed when I was earlier on in my journey. If you want further help, there is a link below to my podcast. There is all sorts of free content on there. It's real. It's raw. I say it how it is, specific to the construction industry. Check it out. And I'll see you on the next video.